Welcome, Pairs and Spares. So glad we could get together today, even if it's by YouTube. Our lesson today is John prepares the way for Christ. And he'll be using Mark 1, verses 1 through 8. The purpose of the lesson is to acknowledge how God offers a new start to the world and to our lives. And our key verse is one stronger than I is coming after me. I'm not even worthy to bend over and loosen the strap of my sandals. I baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Mark 1, 7 through 8. Now Mark is credited with being the first to write down the events of Jesus' life. And he starts out in Mark 1.1 1, 1 by quoting Isaiah. And Isaiah was a prophet back about 680 B.C. before Jesus has even come along. And John is truly preparing the way for Jesus as God had told him to do. And the good news and something good for all of us is about to happen. And that's true. If you, I saw on the uh, internet, good old internet, um, about pandemics have happened in this country world in about a 100-year cycle. Isn't that interesting? It's repeated itself about three or four times. You can look it up. But anyway, now's our time for our video. Here we go. Reconsider what's in our hearts. 
what needs to be changed, softened, forgiven, and nurtured in order to experience the blessing and peace that Jesus offers. A life with Jesus reshapes the imaginations of those who follow him. He roots the liberation of God in ordinary life, in what happens around us. The Jesus experience is one of liberation from oppression to an experience of God at work among the people. This was good news for those who suffered at the hands of kings in John's time. It's good news for all people today. For John, there was no time to waste in sharing this message. There is no time for us to waste either. We must prepare the way of the Lord. So let it begin with me and with you. Okay. If you would, open up your Bibles now to Mark 1, verses 1 through 8. In the beginning of the good news about Jesus, the Messiah, the Son of God, as it is written in Isaiah, the prophet, I will send my messenger ahead of you who will prepare your way, a voice of one calling in the wilderness. Prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight paths for him. And so John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness, preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. The whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem went out to him, confessing their sins. They were baptized by him in the Jordan River. And John wore clothing made of camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist and he ate locusts and wild honey. And this was his message. After me comes the one more powerful than I, the straps of whose sandals I'm not worthy to stoop down and untie. I baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. So what does it mean to you to prepare for the coming of the Lord? What does it mean to you to prepare for the coming of the Lord? How do you go about that? I mean, do you study? Do you go to Bible school? Do you take, uh, um, read your lessons? Um, you know, what's involved? How do you prepare for the coming of the Lord? Actually, you have to prepare your heart. You have to consciously open up your heart to Jesus. Confess your sins, not to John the prophet, but to Jesus. And repent and accept Jesus into your life. And he will bless you by filling your heart with the Holy Spirit. Wonderful, isn't it? A lot of us are reluctant to be evangelistic. But with a time like this, when daily you see the count of people dying on the rise, it must make you realize that some of them have not had the opportunity, have not heard about Jesus, and they, they need your story. They need what Jesus has done in your life shared with someone. If you go to page 72 in our manual, think about this question. What change does God want to bring into your life? What do you need to do for God to make that change in you? Think about that. It's really not hard. 
you have to pray to God. And with that, our closing prayer is, Lord of my life, fill me with your spirit and use me to prepare the way for you in the hearts of those who need to know you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And class, we love you. And we pray for you. And we pray for your health. And we pray for God's presence to be in your life. And we pray that you can keep your eyes on Jesus through all of this. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.